Hi, babies, my little babies, my baby cakes, my sweetums, my pookies, my pumpkins. <laughs> How are you? I hope you're well. I hope you're doing amazing and like feeling super hot and shit. Feeling yourselves, feeling conceited, feeling just super into yourself. Like, damn. <laughs> All right. So first thing, before I came on, right when I uh, was about to come, come on, it was 12.12 on my clock. So that might be significant. And <laughs> as I was getting ready to do this video, um, I heard be coniferous. <laughs> so um, you're evergreen. You do not, you don't lose your leaves. Um, yeah, so remember that you are evergreen. You cannot be, um, you don't lose shit. Um, I best way to put it, like, you don't, um, have to go through this, like, <laughs> basically, I, what I got originally was, um, be, uh, Oh, what the hell's the other one? The one that where they loses the leaves. Shit. No, <laughs> it was in my head, but at first I got that and then I got be coniferous. Um, so it's like you're changing from having to like go through these awful, like, <laughs> I'm just gonna say it like these like ugly periods <laughs> where um, you're just like a fucking, like it's obvious you've lost everything. Like, you're past that. You're in this evergreen state. Um, hopefully that's making sense. But like you're past this like needing to lose it all. You're past that. You've you've overcome that. So good on you. Now you're evergreen. Be coniferous, bitch. You are coniferous. You don't have to lose all your needles. <laughs> you don't have to lose all your leaves. You're done, you're past that point. Okay. Mm-hmm. <sighs> All right, so the first song that I, well, it was more of like a download. I, it was actually been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. Um, <clears throat> it's Drama Queen by Swaco. And then the other song that I got is Daisy by Ash Nico. I'm gonna go into um, Swaco, Drama Queen first. Okay. fight up incendiary damage you call it love i call it anger management incendiary damage you call it love i call it anger management why are you so defensive tell me did i do something wrong you got my attention got me on the edge of my seat oh yeah I love me a drama queen. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Come be a bitch to me. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. That attitude makes me fiend. <laughs> and I like it. I like it. Yeah. Ash and dust, after all is said and done, what a rush it is to me. Rush it is to me, rush it is to me. Why are you so defensive? Tell me, did I do something wrong? You got me, my attention got me on the edge of my seat. Ooh, yeah. I love me a drama queen. Come be a bitch to me. Um, the part that I woke up to this morning that was stuck in my head was, come be a bitch to me. Um, so yeah, what I'm getting here, for one, incendiary damage. Um, I had to look up what that word meant and it means um, like to destroy with fire, like to incinerate. Um, so I'm getting here, um, you, so two things. You have been through the fucking dark night. You're a fucking phoenix, you've been burned to the ground and that checks out with the, ever, you're done losing your leaves and having to lose it all. Um, and you're evergreen now. 
you're you're done with this like having to be like completely incinerated lose it all be like hit rock fucking bottom you're done with that and um but also because you're past this point and you're in this higher vibration and you're evergreen um you are putting people through this um dark night this phoenix rising type of energy because you have found your um worth and you don't put up with shit come be a bitch to me <laughs> you have no fucking problem going there mm. yes and um i don't know where to go i don't know where, where to start there's so much i just saw this so i'll go with this we have the tower in reverse and this is once again is tying into this um evergreen be coniferous like you're done like you're done with these awful fucking towers from now on it's gonna be like good ones like good towers like you have been through enough already and you've done the hard work yes you're still gonna get towers you're still gonna lose things you're still things are gonna fall away things are gonna shift drastically and be turned upside down but it's not going to be like this awful, crazy shit that you've been getting hit with non-fucking-stop. You're past that. Um, and we're moving into this, like, it's a slow work movement. Um, but this kind of ties into that, like, come be a bitch to me. You're learning to not put up with shit. Not to tolerate this bullshit. Um, so you're not... Uh, You've done enough work, enough physical work on yourself, like physically, internally, and you know your worth, you, you have confidence in yourself, and you know your power, and what you deserve. So you're not going to put up with shit. You're still in this, you know, trying to figure out what's appropriate. So you might be a little too harsh to people, you might still let people pass your boundaries. But you're in this state of like, um, turning it like, um, turning the wheel because we actually have uh the wheel of fortune here but i'll show how it kind of fell in we have the nine of pentacles nine of wands excuse me in reverse and then we have the wheel of fortune so you're turning things you're turning things around you're changing the narrative you're spinning the wheel to a lighter happier side instead of this little demon you're turning things around you're not putting up with the narcissism um, I'm definitely seeing this nine of wands as like, you're still like, you got a little chip on your shoulder from the shit you've been through. So you may be like, you are in this like, come be a bitch to me. Um, you may kind of like, freak out on people if they like even show like, <laughs> like a, a little crumb of uh, narcissism or any sort of like possibility of it. So you may be in this like, what did you just fucking say to me, bitch? And it may just be that they like accidentally misphrase something, but you're like, I don't fucking like the way you said that. You're cut. You're done. Or you just get after them and be like, don't ever fucking say that again. <laughs> you're in this like, I've been hurt, man. I've seen some shit and I ain't playing anymore. I don't fuck with that. I, you know, you're still healing these wounds and that's okay because you're in this wheel of fortune, you're changing the cycle, you're shifting it, and you're not being the little simp, the little uh, doormat, the, you're not letting people walk all over you anymore. And you might be on the extreme of that, like you may have just turned the wheel a little too much and now you're like, <laughs> full 180, like drifting into a corner, like it might just be a bit too much, um, but you're learning the balance. Come be a bitch to me. And I was called to pull the romance cards. So that's telling me this is definitely a, a relationship reading of some sort. Because uh, we have healing family issues. And we've got our, like the little ghost person hanging on top of those of the family. And you're... You know, I think you're getting help. I feel you're getting help from your ancestors 
to heal these things because they can help you from the other side. They're like, yeah, we may have like left you with this like wounding, um, but we're here to help because you're the person to do this. You have the wheel of fortune in your favor and this is changing shit for our lineage. Um, I do see the guy is kind of like shitty. Like he's kind of bitchy in that picture. Like he's like, eh, I don't know. I don't know if I want you touching me. Like you're in this and because you were so opposite, like you were, you know, you chased people, you put up with their bullshit. You um, just allowed a bunch of dumb shit. You're like, just because that's what you grew up around. You were around, you know, parents with wounding that allowed some bullshit. Um, they allowed, you know, people around them, like maybe their friends or, you know, step parents or something to hurt you, uh, treat you differently, something of the sort. Um, maybe they just allowed, you know, other people's kids to like bully you or some shit. So you're learning, unlearning all of this painful stuff. You're turning the wheel and now you may come off as a drama queen. And I'm seeing this as like, um, maybe you run into a actual like narcissist and they're like, well, you're being dramatic. And you're like, all right, bitch, you want to fucking see dramatic? <laughs> it was 11 on 11 on the clock. So it's like, all right, wish granted, get ready to fucking rumble, bitch. Like you are so over it. You're like, I am a narcissist's worst fucking nightmare. Welcome to the Thunderdome. Uh, wish fucking granted. You want to call me a drama queen? You want to call me dramatic? for not putting up with your shit. I have seen it all. <laughs> your love life benefits from you as you forgive your parents. Um. <laughs> Ooh, that attitude makes me fiend. And I'm also seeing because you have more self-respect that people are like into it. They're like, you're, <laughs> it may also be on a, the worst side like you would start attracting like straight up simps that like like act in a shitty way to like get you to yell at them so you'll have to be mindful of that too because you do have these boundaries and they want to like like there's like a thing like they're like yes yell at me like oh treat me like this like <laughs> but because you're growing you know what you deserve and who you're gonna put up with and what you're gonna put up with. Come be a bitch to me. Um, and the other song that I got here is Daisy by Ash Nico. <laughs> you don't wanna see me bratty. Pet the kitty, call me catty. Make your man call me daddy. He talk too much, he's too chatty. CEO, I'm savvy. Respect the bitch, I'm a maverick. A flexible so elastic but don't you dare bend a bitch backwards and that's you shifting and, and interesting we got the wheel of fortune twice in this I, I used two decks and this was at the bottom of the deck of this um deck that I chose and then we've got the good old-fashioned Rider Waite uh, wheel of fortune so I mean this is pretty fucking good we're that we're shifting the narrative we are changing um in a big way because this card is also associated with Jupiter so we're bringing we're blowing it up we're changing the narrative in a big way and you're learning yeah I was too fucking flexible motherfuckers tried to step on me motherfuckers tried to see where my boundaries were and I'll fucking show them step up <laughs> fuck a princess I'm a king bat on and kiss on my ring being a bitch is my kink what the fuck else did you think fuck a princess I'm a king Bow down and kiss on my ring. It's gonna hurt, it'll sting. Spit in your blood in the sink. So, and that was kind of going back to like, you know, a narcissist calling you dramatic for like, you know, sticking up for yourself. And um, uh, you're just like, all right, you wanna fucking step to this shit? Let's go. And whether it be you just like tearing them down completely because you're like, no, fuck you. You want to call me dramatic? Bitch, I have a whole ass list of bullshit that you have put, I've put up with so far. And this is minor shit. If you do anything worse than other, than calling me dramatic, you'll fucking see some shit go down. You, you just aren't putting up with that. And that could even be you ghosting a narcissist. Like that. <laughs> you are just not putting up with shit. And... 
you're like, yeah, okay, you want to fuck with me? You want to try and bend me till I break? Let's go. No, 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 no. No, you, you wanted to start this shit. You don't want me to finish it. Um, spitting your blood in the sink. Yeah, you're fucking knocking out teeth over this shit now. You're like, I will never be in this. I will never be stepped on or disrespected ever. I mean, to an extent, you're being like, <laughs> I'm not condoning violence at all. Please do not think that. I'm just saying, uh, metaphorically, you're knocking out teeth. Like you're just, you know, by pulling back, pulling back your energy, ghosting, or just being like, you know what? I'm not interested. I don't think we have compatibility, whatever it is, you know, to these people that you know now are just not good for you. Um, I'm crazy, but you like that. I bite back daisies on your nightstand. Never forget it. I blossom in the moonlight. Screw eyes, glacial with the blue ice. I'm terrifying. La la la. <laughs> so, um, and that's you just like being so in your power, knowing how magical and creative and strong you are. And once again, it says, I'm crazy, but you like that. I bite back. And people are into it now because they're like, this ain't a fucking simp. Like, I like your attitude. Come be a bitch to me. Like, yeah, put me in my place and make me respect you. Um, I'm not condoning like that, like back and forth bullshit. Like, ew, first off. But in a way, like it is like refreshing for people like in their healed state, let's say or on their way there, um, they're gonna like that you have boundaries and that you don't put up with certain shit. They're going to respect that, especially because they're working on their growth. Now, there's other people that feast on your energy and try to piss you off. So you gotta be mindful of that and how much energy you're putting out. Be like, no, fuck you. Get out of my fucking energy. And they try to crawl back and cross your boundaries, blah, 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 that type of thing. And then there's like the full-blown narcissist that's gonna like gaslight you into like, simping again and you have already learned and gone past that so you're not gonna play that shit anymore you're like that's fucking child's play <sighs> really do you realize how fucking obvious you are bitch grow up <laughs> i've seen it a thousand times no <laughs> i'm no cinderella but i like the shoes big glass platforms bitch i'm choosy Long blue hair, blue as a bruise. Only trust a fellow for some light amusement. I'm no prey, but I am pursued. Pray for me, Nana, on the church's pews. No distraction can't confuse me. Whiskey in my hip, plastic, or sorry, whiskey. <laughs> I'm like my eyes are freaking out. Whiskey in my hip flask, nothing fruity. Oh, I guess I confused princess and flask. I don't know. Um, um whiskey in my hip flask nothing fruity. Damn, I like fucked that all the way up. Hopefully that made sense. <laughs> what I'm getting here, a bitch, I'm choosy. Um, only trust a fellow for some light amusement. I'm no tr prey, but I am pursued. So now you're like, you make people fucking prove themselves and you, you don't jump into some shit right away. You learn who the fuck they are because you know who the fuck you are. You know what you deserve and you ain't playing that shit anymore. I'm choosy. Yeah, if you got fucking three checks off of what I'm not interested in, you're done. I'm not playing this shit anymore. I'm not seeing if you change all this shit. Motherfuckers already be telling you who the fuck they are as soon as you meet them. And you're not playing that. You listen to your intuition. You know what you like and you're not playing that anymore. Um, I'm no prey, but I am pursued. You're like, I'm not going to fall to your bullshit like, oh, um... A good example would be like, hey, you know, I really didn't like when you did this or said that we can't talk about this because it bothered you. And you're like, why can't we talk about that? Like, that's important to me. Or um, they like, I don't know, they didn't like something you wore or something like that. And you're like, well, what the fuck? Like, that's what I'm interested in. Like, you know, you're open to like new things, but you're also like seeing what their um, drive was behind saying that. And when, you know, you you put all the pieces together and see like, okay, they were genuinely looking out for me or 
they're dr trying to neg me into, you know, or um, g get me small, keep me small and insecure. So they have power over me. So you know what, what they're doing. Um, you're like, okay, was that like a genuine, like constructive criticism or was that just a nag on me? Um, fuck a princess, I'm a king. Bow down and kiss on my ring. Being a bitch is my kink. What the fuck else did you think? Um, la, 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 I'm terrifying. And you and your motherfucking power is scary as fuck. Because now, and especially if you run into people like in your past that may have like treated you a different way. And that could be like friends, coworkers, anything. When you fucking bite back now, they're like, oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck. Now you bite back. All right. But I say this again because I keep getting this. Be mindful when you do bite back that these people don't keep trying to trigger you to like snap and like give them like your anger or your energy in that way um so don't always like get in like a shitty like you know chip on your shoulder with this uh knight of wands nine of wands in reverse uh just making sure that you're acting out of like you know i genuinely you don't deserve this energy i just don't like that or like you simply just don't respond and like walk away like you don't fucking play that shit and usually pulling back your energy completely like solves the problem. <laughs> but obviously there's communication is also necessary. So use your own discernment in those situations. But if you do find that somebody's just trying to like get a little bite out of you, a little bark back from you, check yourself. Cause that's how they feed. Um hmm, where do I want to go from here? Oh yes. So we said um, so I have another card that says, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So this is in reverse. You are learning and have learned wherever you are on this or will learn. <laughs> uh, and since it's in reverse, I'm seeing this as you know when to stop. You know when to quit putting energy into something. Be like, yeah, I mean, there's going to be differences. There's going to be need for communication. But I can see when it's just someone genuinely just not wanting to do the work and they're trying to fucking nag me. They're trying to make me do all the work. Like, I'm not playing that shit anymore. Yeah, I'm not working on this when I know this motherfucker ain't going to do the same. They're not going to meet me. They're not going to match me. And <laughs> so you're like cutting motherfuckers off. You're like, this is already too much work. No, <laughs> no, I'm good, homie. I'm good. And then, you know, they come back with, Come be a bitch to me. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that attitude makes me fiend and I like it. Yell at me. Yell at me, daddy. <laughs> and then we have um, heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Since it's in reverse. Um, <clears throat> oh, shit. Um, so the picture here, the dude is like all like cold and the chick's like, come on, talk to me. This is you knowing when a motherfucker ain't being deep. They don't even have any connection to their own emotions or they're using their like outward emotions to manipulate you. And if they're like incapable of having these like deep conversations that are important to you, um, you're just like, nah, I'm good, homie. Like, nah. And it could be friendships, anything. Like you're like, you have no emotional depth like you wow wow <laughs> here you are trying to have like a you know serious conversation this motherfucker's like oh yeah um i don't know uh that's interesting okay and you're like no so what do you think about that like what do you get from that and it's like some superficial weird answer that they don't even like think about. They don't genuinely even want to like go into depth about it. They're like, can we just talk about something else? I don't like when we talk about stuff like that. It's really dark and kind of like brings me down. Bitch, you don't have any emotional depth. Or you are can't touch those parts of yourself because you have so many demons and shadow aspects that you haven't integrated or even looked at. Or even like seen in yourself completely ever. Not completely, but just ever. Um, 
Yeah, they just haven't seen that part of themselves. Okay, so we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So I see this as like, um, yes, you are in this like chip on a shoulder kind of thing. Um, and you might be like, just standoffish, like prove your fucking worth to me. Bring me the boy. Bring me the girl. I want to see what they're about. Sitting on your throne. You're like, make me laugh, Jester. <laughs> um, I think this is like, tempering that so yes if you do have romantic feelings or you do have a crush on somebody feel into that and be willing to explore it um what because it says your feelings are real and worth exploring so being also like open like yes people might just be like really awkward when they're nervous and like first meet you or something so like definitely have some grace there but you are very knowledgeable in shitty behavior red flags that type of thing you fucking know what's up yes uh new love yes a new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings yes so if you feel in <laughs> wow i got all excited <laughs> if you feel like this new like this romantic feelings this crush whatever and you're interested like definite like this is coming for you it's your blessing like don't like throw it away because you're they like you know wore the wrong shoes like you know like don't be so harsh because yes you've been hurt and you're like i don't fucking trust any motherfucker like they better prove themselves yes there's a good amount of that but there's also a good mix of like tempering yourself because then you're gonna start blocking the blessings that most high is giving you because you've done like it's like the little prize for like yes i need to be discerning but i also need to be have an open heart so don't block your blessings because like you're so like prove yourself to me peasant just <laughs> yes and under that is keep an open mind yes so like yes maybe they don't dress how you envisioned perfectly um or they might be a little treat you a little differently than what you're used to but that's also because you're in a more healed state and you are attracting different vibrational people. Yes, you're still, it'd be, especially if you're a fucking earth angel and you have good energy, you're still gonna attract these freaks, these narcissists, but you're gonna know when to shut those motherfuckers off. You're done, bitch. You're done. Get out. No. No. I'm good. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then under that is very soon. So that's telling me you'll have a new love or, you know, relationship, friendship, whatever you're looking for. It's however you want to see this or what you're looking forward to. <clears throat> that's coming in because you've put in the work. You have, you're evergreen now. You don't have to deal with all these crazy ass fucking towers. It's like, you know, with this tower card in reverse, I'm seeing that as like a less aggressive tower. It's like, yes, changes come, but it's not going to be this crazy ass like, fucking hit rock bottom just crying in the shower every day like it's not gonna be like this anymore you've put in the work you've done the ascending yes you're still gonna be tested yes all of you know harsh um tests are still gonna or not tests, but harsh times are still gonna come because you don't ascend unless you go through conflict or contrast or crunchy times um so but that's where you find the mastery um, and it's coming very soon. So be open to that. But be, still use your discernment. Be, hold your boundaries. And that's part of the test too, because this person may be your blessing, but if you're not in this discerning, like, I know what the fuck I deserve. I know what the fuck I want. And if you're going to act up, I will be out, bud. Um, if you're still not in this, like, intense, not intense, but... Um, strong i should say knowingness and your morals and what you deserve and want for yourself then this person might turn into what you don't need because they're gonna your energy is going to um make them treat that you the way that you're what you're emitting so if you start simping and like being extra like go back into your old ways of like oh i'll let them treat me like shit like whatever that's going to continue um, but you're I, I, with this whole like evergreen feeling where you're not 
in the you're not emitting that anymore you know what you deserve and you can smell that shit as soon as you meet somebody fuck you might just like spot spot them across the store or you know across the street or something and you're like that's a fucking narcissist if i've ever seen one <laughs> you don't even have to talk to them and you're like oh yeah fuck yeah <laughs> I'm going to dodge that like a fucking, I don't know. I'm going to dodge that bullet. That's for sure. <laughs> I just heard if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. So you're like, yeah, I've been hit with a fucking few wrenches and I know how to dodge. Dive, duck, dick, dick. <laughs> Dive, duck, ditch, dodge, duck. I don't fucking know. It was, I <laughs> haven't seen that movie in a long time, but the dick was funny. <laughs> CEO, I'm savvy. Respect a bitch, I'm a maverick. You know how, you have this, because I just saw the uh, emperor at the bottom of this deck um, on top of the king of cups in reverse was on top of that. And I'm seeing that as like you mastering um, like any like emotional abuse, emotional manipulation. Um, also, you know who to give your love to. You're not just all loving to everyone and you've mastered that. Also, these two cards together could also mean like narcissism. So check yourself that you're not like becoming like accident, I wouldn't say accidentally, but like to the point that you're like not giving at all and you're making someone give everything. So check yourself in that because it is easy, especially if you've been so hurt and you're like, I that will never happen to me again ever. It could be really easy to start like accidentally hurting people. So check yourself on there because with that chip on the shoulder with this nine of wands in reverse it could happen you just don't want to be in that energy to where you're like making motherfuckers like do 110 percent of the work and you're doing nothing um but who i'm talking to you're you're wonderful people still you're healing you're trying to figure out what's an appropriate boundary and what's not um like where to where to stop it i guess i should say where to allow like mistakes and where to um just tell him to fuck off and go kill yourself. <laughs> okay, never mind. I won't say that. That's awful. <laughs> I don't know why that came out. <laughs> that was terrible. Let you. Yuck. I, I eat those words. Yuck. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Hopefully, we're just going to ignore that I said that. That is terrible. I apologize for that. <laughs> I've been hanging out with the people at work too much. Um, if you work in blue collar industry, you know the shit y'all motherfuckers talk. So <laughs> I am so sorry and trigger warning on that. I am so terribly sorry. I made a mistake and I eat my words. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Please forgive me. All right. Shake that off. <laughs> Um, five of wands in reverse. So with this, this is telling me, cause we have the knight of wands after this. This is advice not to fight off an offer coming. Yes, it is the knight of wands. They can be a fuck boy only if, you know, usually if it's in the reverse. Um, so being aware that yes, this may be like a fiery creative, like, um, quick burning type of um offer or like something coming towards you like being mindful of that but with the five of wands in reverse that's telling me you don't have to like be super like edgy about it or like freaked out like just being aware that it could just be a quick burning flame but we do have after that the three of coins and that's telling me collaboration so you know, it might be somebody like genuinely just wanting to work on something like, yeah, like, okay, if you're just wanting to like get to know each other first and like not really like have a, but there be, there will be willing to collaborate and work with you and meet you halfway. Be like, Hey, look, I've been hurt before. I, um, have a hard time. Like, uh, I have had a hard time discerning um, what's an appropriate behavior. So I just want to take things slow. I want to get to know you, you know, just that communication. And if this person is like normal and nice and understanding, or they've been through the same thing, they're willing to work with you and collaborate with you and 
uh, meet you there. Like, yeah, let's work, let's work on that. Let's, you know, what speed you want to go, I'll go. Um, so you, you have something coming in that these people want to work with you. They want to like get to know you. I mean, if it's a friendship, then they're going to be like, yeah, cool. We can like hang out sometimes, whatever. Like, you know, you don't have to like talk to me every day. Like, you know, it's normal. Like they won't get all weird and like guilt trip you if you go do something or, you know, they're not going to be jealous if something good happens to you. They'll be like, fuck yeah. Good for you. Hell yeah. I'm so sorry for saying that guys. I feel terrible. I'm not going to edit this, but you know, my bad. I really am sorry. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. Um, we do have the king of coins here. So with this um, collaboration and this offer coming in, this creative offer, this exciting offer, this adventurous offer with the Knight of Wands, because not only, I mean, yes, they can be in the reverse, a fuckboy, and they might just be kind of flighty, um, just down for anything, like, yeah, let's like, let's drive to Vegas tonight, let's go, you know, let's go gamble, let's go do something. Um, they're down for that, um, but since we have the collaboration, so we have the Five of Wands in reverse, to the Knight of Wands, to the Three of Pentacles, so that's, you know, a little more stable, and that's collaboration, because we have our creativity with our wands, and then we have uh, three of pentacles to the king of cups or sorry the king of pentacles so that's stability that's something that could last the pat the oh my god why can't i think of the word can last time fuck what is that word <laughs> i'm all like disoriented since I, since I was bad i'm sorry guys um but yeah so <laughs> fuck i'm so sorry uh so we have the that this is something that can last. It's stable, it's abundant, it's going to bring you good things. It's just a matter of you being willing to collaborate and being like, okay, I understand, like, you might have fucked up, I fucked up, like, I may have been a bit too edgy with my, I may have been a little dramatic with my reaction because I've been hurt and that made me think of something that happened in the past that was traumatic from a past connection, relationship, whatever. Um, but they're going to be like, you can have that conversation and collaborate and work together with that three of pentacles to come to like an understanding. They're going to be like, oh yeah, I totally get you. Um, there's going to be like that adult conversation shit, not this yelling back and forth for no, you, you fucked up. Like not this like blame game, avoiding responsibility, that type of thing. They're going to be like, yeah, you know, I could see where that hurt your feelings and if i was in that situation i would probably feel the same way i'm sorry i said that and that with that wheel of fortune that is changing this is changing for you you are changing the narrative this is the cycle because you're working on yourself you've learned how to communicate and um temper your emotions when you get triggered to um communicate hey that hurt my feelings or um i didn't really appreciate that and if you know, they're willing to meet with you because if you fucking tell that to a narcissist, they'll be like, yeah, so you just misunderstood me. Um, I didn't mean it any way like that. I just meant it like most of the time. Or you're like, what the fuck? What does that even mean? Fuck you. <laughs> you know the truth because we have the um, seven of uh, swords underneath that in reverse. So you know the truth. You know how to expose the truth. You know when somebody's trying to have one over on you or like you know play your little tricks um fuck around with you like just they're just there to hit it and quit it or like if it's a friendship get money out of you or get like clout out of you whatever like whatever you have to benefit from them they have to benefit from you you know when to spot that now you know when somebody's genuinely giving to just be a good person versus yeah they're definitely trying to get something out of me and you have the strength card underneath that. You can trust your strength. You trust your valor. Um, the You have been through the trenches forever. <laughs> you have been through tower after tower to the point that you are evergreen. You don't lose because you've been through so much. These towers, this crazy changing stuff. <clears throat> that's not 
It doesn't have to be like that anymore because you can spot it. You've learned enough lessons. You've ascended enough that you can be like, you got your little uh, binoculars, your microscope, whatever you do to observe this and you um, spot it quickly to where you don't have to go through this again and lose everything. You're like, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> You may lose a few needles there, but it's not losing everything. Um, yes. Take time to breathe out. And this is you um, learning when you're triggered by someone's behavior. You take the time to get relaxed or to a point where you can think clearly to not react in a way where you're like yelling at them like, fuck you, you fucking hurt me, fuck you, get out of my life. You know that you need to give them your maturity, your emotional maturity to receive it. Um, so even if this person doesn't meet you there, you're doing the right thing by communicating, yes, I don't like this, I didn't like when you did this, I didn't appreciate that. And then, you know, you're seeing how they react and meet you that way and collaborate with you. You're learning how to do that. You know when to, okay, I'm really fucking triggered and I want to lose my shit on this person. I need to walk away. I'd be like, hey, let me call you in a sec. Like, let me talk to you in a few minutes, you know, whatever you need a day um, to work through that and think about it. Um, and then come back with a clear mind and be like, hey, I just really didn't like this. I got really triggered because I've been hurt in the past. Can we talk about this? And then you'll know their emotional maturity level after that. And this is show the world the real you with this Aquarius full moon and Aquari Aquarius. Aquarius. <laughs> Aquarius. So um, this is telling me you're not afraid to ask for what you want. You're like, yes, I want to be babied. I want to be babied sometimes. I want you to freaking pet me like a dog, okay? <laughs> and I'm not afraid to ask for that. And if you're not into that, if you don't want to be holding my hand or, you know, be a comforting friend, whatever, who, however this, you know, relationship is, what level it is, you're not afraid to ask for that because you know what you deserve. And if this person cannot meet you from the get-go, you're not going to fuck around with them. They're not they're not worth your time. You're not going to waste their time. You're not going to waste yours. You're going to step away, move on. Be like, we're just not on, we're on different levels. I can't have deep conversations. I can't talk about my shit because they can't handle it. <clears throat> There's no point in continuing this or having me wait till they become something, you know, waiting on the future, waiting for their potential. I'm not playing that anymore. <coughs> Okay, and we have a fiery climax approaches. This is telling me that new moon, not the new moon, that new love is coming in, new relationships, new friendships, that is coming in. You have done the fucking work. You've had enough damn towers. You've learned the lessons. You might have a little chip on your shoulder and be a little less trusting, but that's what you needed to get to this. You needed to go through all this crazy shit Learn who's draining your energy, who's just out to use you, all of this shit. You had to go through hell to get, you know, your blessings. Because, you know, there was some shadow shit you had to shed. You know, you had to lose those leaves, shed those parts of yourself, the self-worth thing. Um, to understand and be able to, uh, to blah earn this love that you deserve and that was shedding all those shadow attributes of yourself that or like transmuting them into a self-worth thing versus like oh i'll let them step all over me oh I, I need to be more flexible oh i i'm being selfish yeah you're right to where you give everything and they take everything there's no give and take with this oh shit so we've got um a time to give rather than take virgo moon new moon and then we have a new romantic cycle begins so yes and with the scales you're and see how the virgo version has our little crown you know your royalty you know your worth you can sit on your throne here 
but the person that's coming people group whatever see how there's the scales they're going to match that energy they're going to expect the same that you expect for yourself out of you they're going to meet you with this self-worth so you're going to be okay to give because you're going to get back because they're going to respect that be like yeah i'll fucking give no problem because i deserve that too so i'm going to expect that out of you as well it's going to be this amazing balance yes and this is going to be healing because we have a time for healing so this is going to be healing to be around these people person whatever however this resonates for you that you can trust them they're not going to they're going to have the same self-worth as you done the work to some extent like they mean you know you might learn how to grow from them and vice versa and that's going to help both of you create and heal from all these awful freaks that tried to hurt you in the past and like made you bend backwards and you know basically overstayed their welcome <clears throat> and we have another aries card um it's time to take action so it's okay to step into this it's okay to um come into this new thing uh step into this new relationship yes be on your game like watching and observing and collecting data but it's also okay to be a little more more open-hearted because you know when to block off the energy and when to um open it you've learned and are learning still how to be in that energy and we've got um attraction i'll cover up <laughs> we've got attraction and it's associated with the sun so this is telling me maybe Leo season, and that's coming up pretty soon, when this is going to take off. Um, <clears throat> and of course, these messages are timeless, so whenever the fuck it happens, whenever the fuck it happens. Whenever you find this video is the right time. Um, but this is somebody that's going to be into what you're into, hopefully. <laughs> this is going to be somebody that's, like, about it, you know? Like, I'm seeing this dude, like, kissing her, like, feet. Like, you know, if you're... It, it, they're gonna match that energy they're going to be like you know what i will kiss your feet if you kiss mine you know if you have a foot fetish whatever that's on you i wasn't gonna touch on that subject but it came to mind so, <laughs> so there's gonna be equal attraction here they're going to feel the same about you and you can trust your heart because once again leo ruled by the sun is also they rule the heart so they're, they lead by the heart. You can trust your heart. You can open your heart because this person, people, group, whatever, is going to match that energy. And we've got harmony. And I'm seeing this as like someone that just wants to hang out with you. They don't want to get you for your clout, for what you have. They just want to be around you. Like see how they're just like getting dressed together. Like they're just hanging out. Like, you know... Maybe you need to freaking paint the floorboards on your house and they just come over to help you. Like nothing, not expecting anything. It's just because they want to be around you and bullshit. Like that's all they want. Um, there's no like, oh, well, are you going to buy me lunch or anything like that? They're just happy to like interact with you, learn from you and you learn from them. And there's like an equal give and take. And, you know, there's that mutual attraction, mutual um, just wanting to meet you where you're at and they feel the same. And like I said, take it romantic, friendship, whatever. Um, and with this harmony, we see have like, we have like the fruit and stuff that's going to bring a lot of abundance also because, you know, it's two good or, you know, several good hearted people coming together with a cause. They may be on the same like spiritual journey as you or just like into, you know, self growth. Um, you, they might have different beliefs, but they have the same goal of like, yes, I want to be a better person and I want to be around good people. And, um, you know, I want to help the world. I want to do, I want to make a difference, however that looks. And we did have self-confidence in reverse and it's Virgo son. And I have met a lot of <laughs> Virgos that can be a little insecure. Um, so I'm seeing that as like, checking yourself so 
when you have this like self-confidence, this insecurity of like, oh, maybe I don't deserve this. No, you know damn well, you're a fucking king, you're a fucking queen, whatever, you're royalty and you deserve the best. You deserve good relationships, good friendships, good romance. You deserve all of that. And don't let the past people that have fucked with your head get in your head because they were fucking demons. They were just trying to scramble your brains and that was something you had to overcome to get your blessing. So keep working on that. Check yourself when you're feeling insecure. Like, oh, when look in the mirror and they're like, I don't know. Like, they're just like really hot or like, you know, they're more muscular than me or they're more fit. Like they eat better, blah, 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 whatever. You can use that as, you know, um, a way to like love yourself more. So be like, hmm, maybe my insecurity makes me like not treat my body better maybe i need to eat better to like love on myself more or like exercise to love on myself but don't do it for this person do it because you want to feel better and take care of yourself um and this these people that you're going to come into they're going to like you no matter what they see the good in you and maybe you needed a good influence in regards to that like say you're, you're a good influence on them when it comes to like emotional maturity and work like that and they're a good influence on the physical stuff like they could take care of their bodies they can show you some stuff on how to eat whatever however it resonates for you there's going to be that give and take learning from each other and we have uh trust in reverse as well and that's uh libra moon um <clears throat> and that's you're just gonna have to break through this trust thing yes collect the fuck out of that data watch them but at some point you do have to open your heart because if you're gonna just stay closed off these people that do have open hearts and are ready for this aren't going to want that. Just like you don't want to fucking deal with the narcissist. They're going to be like, yeah, I don't fucking want that. Like you're closed off as fuck and making me do all the work. It's going to be the same thing. So check yourself and see how Libra is the scales that you are, um, you know, meeting them with the same energy. You know when to pull your energy back when somebody's siphoning it or just treating you like shit. But you also have to put yourself out there and that's bravery. That's putting, that's being courageous to be vulnerable again after being hurt so many fucking times. Um, oh shit. And then we have truth in reverse underneath that. And you know how to discern the truth. Um, it's just a matter of trusting yourself, trusting your intuition, which you can do. You have literally been through hell. You are evergreen now. You don't have to shed your leaves anymore. You can trust yourself. So, you know the truth. And we had 22 on there, so that's union. You have good union, good friendships, good community coming in. You just have to work on yourself and make sure that you're not being a user and be like, yeah, you have to prove yourself to me. Yes, you do need to be somewhat in that energy, but don't check yourself that you're not being overly to the point where they're like yeah you're kind of an asshole like i feel like i'm doing all the work like can you meet me somewhere with this like or they might just cut you off because they're <laughs> you're meeting somebody that's the same energy as you <laughs> so come into this with an open heart and an open mind but also open eyes that's third eye too see the truth you know what to look for you know what the fucking red flags are you know what your intuition means yes you may have been manipulated gaslit a million fucking times by these narcissist freaks um but you can trust yourself again have that confidence in yourself even though it's in reverse you can trust your confidence all right babes i am so fucking sorry i said that earlier <laughs> please forgive me i'm sorry um i guess i'll pull one more card oh perfect death i'm learning that endlings are merely beginnings you're in that um, incendiary <laughs> energy with your drama queen. You have come, you've walked through the fire. You've had a million dark nights of the soul. You've shed a ton of shit. Now it's your time to come out of this. Phoenix fucking rising with an open heart, open eyes, open mind. You're changing as a person. You have changed. So uh, keep that up. That's all you gotta do. I kinda want one more. Maybe. Oh. Cards are kinda slapping. 
There we go. Imagination. Embrace and nourish the creative aspect of, it, of, my, of my mind. It did come out um, in reverse. So be mindful that you're not just like imagining that someone's being a dick. You know, like, make sure that you're not reacting out of trauma, out of being triggered, um, that you're not, like, letting your mind run away with it. Like, yes, trust your intuition, trust your gut, um, be open-minded, but also open eyes, and just check yourself that you're not making shit up because you were hurt before. All right, babes, I love you so much. Have a wonderful day. Keep being amazing. <sighs> Have, just keep in your beautiful selves, and balance the shit out of yourselves so <laughs> i need to do that as well okay love you bye